Um, Rob, what's your thoughts on the game and how it all panned out tonight? Oh, yeah, it was a bit of a heartbreak, really. Um, um, you know, obviously we weren't as efficient as we needed to be. Rebels, <coughs> to their credit, um, really dictated well. Um, I thought Tamua played exceptionally well at 10. Um, and... Um, you know, we weren't we weren't in a position to be able to, I guess, apply enough pressure through our own errors, um, and um, obviously, at the end of the day, the rebels finished over the top of us and were significantly better in that last ten or fifteen minutes. Were you disappointed you couldn't get more possession and more sort of time, a bit forward of sort of halfway where you could try and make something? Absolutely, I, I think we had 19 unforced errors. Um, guys, you know, we're turning the ball over after one or two phases. Um, it's been a bit of an issue for us um, in this early part of the year, and you know, we're trying to address it, but um, it's it's something that um, that I guess it's just a, a time factor. We just got to just got to keep working hard. Um, and try to be smart about what we do um, and you know there's a group there that's lacking a bit of confidence now which is understandable so um, it's, it's, it won't be a revolution of any sort it'll be you know it'll just be picking bodies and minds up and trying to get them in a position where they, they feel as though they can contribute meaningfully Rob well, were there any areas where you felt you did take a step forward this week? Um, no, probably not really. <laughs> to be to be totally honest, you know, I think there was, um, you know, there were patches where we were okay, but we were never consistent enough. And um, uh, it seems like we, you know, we get spooked a bit by the rain, which is, uh, you know, I guess another issue that we've that we've come across in the last couple of weeks that we're going to have to grow and learn from. Um, but also, um, we've got to, I guess, take on board. And you know, we've said this last couple of weeks, the learnings from from what's occurring. So, and how does that translate into the training track? So, you get next weekend off, gives you a, a long window into your next game. <coughs> so, what sort of specific things are you looking to do at training? Well, we're doing. We, you know, every week we're, we're working on our core skills I mean it just goes without saying um, so it's just it's just building on those doing them in different ways just just trying to challenge um, and improve our ability to play um, I guess multiple styles you know we we want to be able to use the ball when it's on but we also need to be able to grind it out when it's on or that's you know that when that's the option and we got ourselves into position you know we were we're leading at one point and um we turned the ball over pretty quickly, but we got back into an attacking position. But we just we just couldn't sustain pressure for long enough. Um, and credit to the Rebels, you know, they they defended stoutly. They got the rub of the green a couple of times. They absorbed, you know, the pressure that we applied. And then towards the back end of the game, you know, they were all over us. Rob Simmons, you, um, like you've been happy with the chance to in the first half. I mean, the Rebels kind of had the upper hand a bit there, but you managed to sort of. Um, I suppose what we spoke about at half time is we were right in the game. We had to come out and try and dominate in that second half, and especially towards the back end of that second half, that's what we didn't do. As uh, the disappointing part of that game. Did you have a sense that they were going to finish quite well? I guess given their form this season, it's sort of been the strength, the strength of their game to. Um, uh, we don't really read into that too much. I think we try and focus on ourselves more. I think we need to get things in our, in our own backyard right first. And um, we spoke about what we're going to do in the second half and, and go out and play play better footy according to the weather. And um, we just couldn't hold onto the ball to, to even do that. Uh, Rob, uh, what's the feeling amongst the 
the players having made a disappointing start, is there still a lot of positivity in the group? Um, I think we all know we're in a we're in a hole. We're, we've we're zero and three. It's um, but there's there's no way out out of it except to to fight our way out. We have to we have to stick in there. We have to keep learning and keep fronting up week to week. You've got some uh, got some young attackers in your side, uh, guys like Gordon Harrison, etc. Um, what do you sort of say to those young guys who are probably dealing with this sort of adversity for the first time? Stick in it. I think we. Um, we're trying to learn from each week, grow, grow, grow try and improve each week. Um, disappointing this week, I think we had a, we had a good, good chance to, to, to make a, a huge improvement and we let ourselves down there. Um, but you know, those guys are learning game to game, especially those, those playmakers, the game drivers. They're, um, they're doing some good stuff. Like everyone else in the team, we're doing some good stuff and then then we let it slip. Rob, Penny, um, anyone you're thinking from outside tonight's 23 that might be pressing for a start? Yeah, well, the 18 plays tomorrow, so that'll be of great interest. Um, so, yeah, we'll watch and see the form there and uh, consider our options over the next 10 days as we build for the for the Lions back at home um, in a fortnight. Do you have any injuries tonight? Um, not. Clark, see, Who's that, sorry? Was Clark, no. Clark, no. <coughs> no. No. Nothing that I know of as yet. A few broken hearts.